sorry it's been months. It's been so long. Whoop, whoop. Hi, Hi guys. guys. Rory went un went under. It was put in like <laughs> under <laughs> 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 We're finally back with a big truck giveaway, episode six, and we have a lot to show you. Last episode, Rory underwent possibly his biggest transformation yet as we added some lighting and a customized wrap. But of course, the additions don't stop there. We've got loads more to show you. I'm gonna just be like, it's been weeks, Rory needed a break. Rory he needed, needed a holiday. He, did, he needed a break, he did. He was on, on annual leave. <laughs> he was on annual leave, Rory. He went to needed. Tenerife, beach and up with Daphne. Um, Benadol, they're going Benadol. on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> they're just on the ferry like. <laughs> so without further ado, we should probably get into this episode because you guys have been waiting quite a while. So, back in episode five, that really distracted me. <laughs> oh my god, we got a fan! Fan! Yeah. yeah? You're not on the camera, it's facing us. <laughs> In episode 5, we sprayed and chose the lights for our light fix roof bar. We love the look of the white Sky Lords on the white bar. The roof bar really ties in with all the white accessories we've added so far. But to complete the look, we also added a light fix under bumper bar as well. But of course, we couldn't forget the rear of the truck. To keep it with our blue and white theme and add some more lighting, we've decided to add another light fix light bulb along with some strand lighting. This will not only look great, but will help our winner stand out on those darker nights so it's practical and sleek. But the question is, what lighting are we going to choose? Well, on the last series of the Big Truck giveaway, we chose a pair of Strands Red Pandas for our DAF, so we knew we had to choose something really different for Rory. So, this time we've chosen four of the Strands Dark Knight Vortex, which we are really excited to see. So, it's time for yet another transformation. Let the fitting commence! <laughs> the judgement! <laughs> I felt judged! No, it's zoomed in on us, so you're not in it. <laughs> the rear light fix bar and the Strands Vortex work lights are all fully fitted. They've made such a transformation to the back of the cab and they're really keeping in with the blue and white theme. These dark night Vortexes are some of our favourite lighting products from Strands. They're super bright, they come with a red position light and a flood light, so it's multifunctional, which is always super handy. Woo! Slay, slay, slay! So sadly, that's now all of our light bars completely done and dusted. But I just think we need to take a moment to appreciate how much difference they've really made to Rory. He's had a complete lighting glow up. We have made some great decisions on styling this truck and these light bars were such a good idea. But don't worry, we have more lighting on the way. Woo! Slice, slice, Right, disclaimer here. It's actually been quite a few days. Like, it, it, this is actually a lot of work that yeah. Will's been doing. <laughs> so we look exactly the same. I mean, Ruby's had a haircut. I've had a haircut. <laughs> but we are hard at work. We haven't done much, but Will's done everything. <laughs> so this is something really exciting. We can't wait to get started on this segment of the video. Will's are very Daphne. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's like Daphne. we've done this as a tribute. So, after some advice from trucker Tim. But what things do you think we need adding? Hello, Rory. Well, uh, some underglow. Yeah. That will look so good. We just knew we had to add some underglow to Rory. This is really going to level him up. If we have lighting everywhere on the truck, it only makes sense that Rory has lighting underneath him to make him really glow. I have to say him because he's a boy. He is a boy. He's a little boy. Daphne was a girl. This Rory is a boy. Is a boy. Our giveaway Daph didn't have underglow added, so we knew we had to add it to Rory to set him apart from the rest. And you guys know how much we love lighting, so of course we had to go all out. And you know what comes next. Cue the fitting. And then this is like time lapse, like do do. I'm Will.
We have so much to tell we you. We have so much more to say. Pause the video. We're now over halfway through our big truck giveaway series, which means you only have three more episodes to make sure you're entered to win this truck for free. But as a reminder, subscribe and comment below on our giveaway videos. The more comments, the more entries. Yet again, another video, big truck giveaway video that I am not involved in. Still not featured in this series, which I am, I'm very frustrated about now. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that, but hey ho. A comment down below because I don't I feel like I don't get to feature on this YouTube channel anymore it's all about million Ruby which is a whole nother thing but we'll yeah anyway it's got to change so they don't invite me million Ruby never invite me to be part of these videos so I'm gonna get some revenge and um, yeah that trucks locked I've got the keys too bad girls you're gonna have to find them This should work. against the blue sky, I think. So, we've been told that Tim has done something to our truck. <laughs> and I'm nervous. It was quite threatening, so <laughs> was very threatening what's going on. Can we see that so clear as anything? No keys, you should flag the issue. <laughs> what? Why would yeah. you have a challenge hunt on our own truck? No keys. Where is the fact? The fact? Right? What? The flag, the fire point flags. No? Do you think that's actually what he's done? You should flag the issue. <laughs> well, yeah, because why else would you see flag? We're actually okay. No, we actually are locked out of the truck. Do you know what's really funny about this as well is that this is our truck. This is actually our responsibility and we've got this. We've done this because he's jealous that we've not, I just got yeah. well, he's jealous that we've not invited him to be on this It's series. because we're getting a tiny bit, we're getting a tiny bit of love for the series and he wants love on things like right this, but it's not going to happen. The big truck giveaway is that. Come and down below we're better than Tim. <laughs> stop it. No, wait, stop. That's not it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You see up there. What? How on earth? <laughs> Why are they flying in the air? No! It's a true sabotage. This is true sabotage. And he said good luck. And do you know what? There's no reason why he... That's, that's a reason. Oh my God, I know how to do this. Yeah? I think I do. I used to do it at... Girl guiding. <laughs> Sorry. Girl guiding. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. He's making so much noise. The way he's put the underglow keys on there as well. That is so nice. Like, so it's hard. <laughs> is it actually coming down? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to rub it in, you can't use the underglow either, guys. <laughs> can't see you more right now. <laughs> Stop it. Stop that right now. I feel, like, this I feel like we need to sabotage him at this point. I'm yeah. Gonna... <laughs> I'm still going to sabotage Tank Truck. It's Friday. Right, so this is a risk right now, so it's on a clip, so if I accidentally let it go, the flag might go flying. <laughs> I don't know. Yes! Yet. Hold the good keys. We've I'll got them. Who the flag going up represents Millie and Ruby back in town. <laughs> Guys, this is like a ceremony. We'll have to oh, sing something. I knew the Read My Mind song, how's it go? <laughs> um, I don't know how to enjoy it. This is a tutorial on how to tie a knot. <laughs> oh, I'm good. 
I think that's fine. Yeah. That's tight. Yes. Hey. He thought he really tricked us. He, was, he was lying. We got him. <laughs> if that flag comes flying off, it wasn't us. <laughs> we, win, we win. We win. We win. Okay, guys. So after the full episode, we have to show you the underbow of this truck and the little lights we put together. Look how good this looks. I'm honestly a little bit speechless. We've got this at the moment on like a sort of rotation. Like party mode. Party mode. But you can pick your colour. It can be really slay. It can be blue if you fancy it. Yeah. It's a match. But now we're going to show you all of the lighting that we've accomplished so far in the series. Yeah, okay, so Ruby's putting on the beacons just so you can see how bright they really are. Guys, that's those tiny grill strobes. I just want to point that out. Woo! <laughs> Millie, put the song on. <laughs> Tim's back. Yeah, go. That is crazy bright. Yeah, they're so small. Look how small they are, guys. Like, let me just zoom out. Tiny, but bright. Kuna nightclub, Kuna nightclub. Rory and the Kuna always come to the party. <laughs> Rory's brought the party. Yeah, it's like a dance floor. <laughs> you guys don't know, but we've been singing this song a lot recently. We love guys, we love this song so much. <laughs> <laughs> we both stand a chance. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we just took the moment, guys. Lots of music for this moment. But all of our team worked really, really hard on this track. <laughs> So obviously we've got a lot of lights and accessories on here and everything that you've just seen is linked up right here to our ultra LED switch panel. This is super accessible, super easy to reach when you're driving along. It's just a really good little gadget. And the best part, it changes colour. Yep. Do you want a Demo? demonstration? Pink. Whoa. My fave. <laughs> this is giving Daphne. This is white. <laughs> that is red. <laughs> I'll tell you what That are. is red. That is white. <laughs> oh, I want green. Green also giving green, Daphne. Green, green. <laughs> but we've chosen blue as our main colour because obviously blue and white. Perfect. Slay. <laughs> is getting <laughs> when you want to be involved in the big truck giveaway <laughs> so as you guys might have seen we've actually worked with zach mumford recently yes. who has a tractor not a truck mm -hmm. um, and he has one of these ultra led panels so we're just going to hear a little bit from him on how he uses his and the best way to use it yeah just hear from the pros <laughs> like rory my tractor uses an ultra led switch panel to control each of my individual lights best thing about this it keeps all my lights separate from the tractor's CAN bus system the only difference being between my tractor and rory my tractor's 12 volt not 12 we have them up inside and I'll show you around my ultra LED panel. I have to excuse the mess of it, I didn't plan it out that well. And I only now regret it, but next time, I'll sort it out, don't worry. So we start at the one end. Down here we have my battery cables coming out away from my battery, which is underneath my floor. 
come up into my trip which is basically in place of some sort of inline fuse being set of the fuse we're just using the trip at 12 volt this will handle 60 amps obviously if it's if it exceeds 60 amps this will trip thus saving any potential damage to my power module from there we go into more battery leads up to my power module here we have our positive terminal from our battery and here is the negative coming away as well this is the lead which leads to our switch panel over here and you get plenty of spare wire if you need to run it a ways away in here we can see my accessory wires coming into each of their slots each of these fuses represents one of the switches on the panel we have four four fuses each side totaling eight of our switches obviously we have these lights on because these lights are the ones that i have active outside you'll notice this other little plug here which i believe is you can run that into your an accessory slot eg your ignition through some sort of fuse tap and if you flick that switch when you turn your ignition on your whole panel will come on just as i do however i click the button to turn mine on or off i'm going to closer look at the switch panel obviously we've got our on and off this is our brightness eg if it's in your face you can turn the brightness down when it becomes dark and then you can also change the color as well obviously we have green because my tractor's green <laughs> Now you've got two modes in this to set each of your individual switches. You have this brightness button, which if we hold that down, starts flashing red. This is your intermittent setting. So as you can see, I've got my lights set at this at the minute. As they are now, when I click the buttons, my lights will stay on. However, with the intermittent mode on, if I just hold, turn that off again, turn it back on, as I push my lights and let go, they go on and off with my press. Obviously this is the sort of thing you want to be using if you have a horn hooked up to your switch panel. Going back into that mode, turn them back off. And when I click them now, they will stay on. So let's look into the other mode, which if we hold our brightness button down again, it takes us into the intermittent mode. We click at the brightness button again, the panel turns blue. This is a section where we can pick and choose if we would like any of our buttons to activate on a strobe eg if i set my amber daytime lights on the strands and my drls which are in my side lights turn the panel off again it sets it turn it back on and you'll see my lights now flash now if we jump back out of the cab again you see that all my lights now have a strobe function to them I do genuinely love this switch panel. It is taking something that can be quite daunting to some of us. It was particularly for me because I didn't really know how else to do it. But this SIPS panel has allowed me to just take my ideas and just plug them all into one place. I'm not interfering with any of the tractor's electronics in any way. And when it comes to take everything off, it is literally just unplug, move it out, and I'm all done. But that's all from me, so I'll hand you back to the guys at Cuda. I assume, wait, so if I press them on, they work. Yeah. <gasps> Sorry! <laughs> we'll so that's that. I, I can't press the air horns, can I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty loud. That's the air if horns. you were ever in any doubt. Um, this one? What is that one? Wheel ring. Wheel ring? What have they done with this then? Nothing. <laughs> um, oh, is that a spoiler? That's <laughs> Oh, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler! Speed, what Tim just set up. Beep. Yeah, okay, well, well, no, don't look at that don't one. Don't look at that one. Underglow, Underglow. of course, that's obviously on. Best. But we can turn it off. Turn it back on again. Beautiful. And obviously, with that one, we've also got these. We've got some nice little remotes too. I don't know too. if you guys Change have colour. seen the remotes, but this is them. 10 10. Stunning. And then the last two. Obviously, these have nothing on, but these are our work lights at the back. And this is our. Beacon. Beacon. There we go. And as you can see, Look at that. Light up the night. Light see, up the night. Light up the night. This was more or less Will's idea, and it makes a lot yeah. more sense than what we did with the whole zombie light situation. Um, so we left it to the professionals again. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we want this truck to be not ruined by us. <laughs> Last time, we couldn't stick them on properly, so. <laughs> no, exactly. So there we go. Love to see it. Um, I need to stand close to you, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
And with that, the episode is finally complete. We've added some really vital things this episode and it all looks really good. My favorite element is definitely the underglow. I'm so glad Chocolate Tim recommended it to us. Yeah, it's absolutely great. I think my personal favorite thing is the ultra LED panel. So honestly, now it's gonna be easier than ever for our driver to access all definitely. our accessories. It's gonna be great. Don't forget, you only have three more episodes to enter into our Big Chat giveaway. Remember to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and comment down below if you prefer watching our videos or Tim's videos. Obvious choice. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, bye guys. guys. I don't think we ever do a bye guys normally, right? Like, no, it's normally... We, we thought we were doing it loads, yeah. but we actually so don't do it. <laughs> Play the trailer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on through then, welcome through. Sorry, we're just insane, don't mind us. This episode is all about adding those smaller accessories so the exterior of the truck is complete. So it's really time to start thinking about those finer details. We can't add more lighting, surely, but we can.